What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Genshin Impact video. And today I just hit world rank five. I want to show you guys what drop rates I'm getting from the different weekly bosses and other bosses around the map and explain to you why it's kind of important to wait till this world rank to make sure you guys are farming artifacts. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so like I said, I just hit world level five, and that's really going to be where you're going to start farming your five-star artifacts. Now, the two weekly bosses, the wolf and the dragon, they can already drop that kind of stuff early on, but these bosses like the uh, electric boss, the ice boss, those can really start dropping five-star rates now, and then when we start going into like the uh, the different uh, domains and dungeons, once we get to this uh, rank 40 here, you can see that we also get a chance at dropping these awesome noblesse oblige. Uh, a lot of these five star artifacts start to drop so that's really when you want to get into hard farming artifacts is once you get to ar40 so that's the reason why because if you look up here you don't even have a chance at a five star drop but i also thought it would be a fun video is if i went through you know i'm going to kill the wolf boss i'm going to kill the dragon world boss the weekly boss and then i'll fight some of these other uh bosses that are around you know, like the fire boss the electric boss like i said and we'll see what kind of drop rates i get now again this is in a vacuum but i just thought it'd be fun to see what kind of loot we get and kind of show off what farming will be like if you get to this level uh later on in the game all right guys so that was kind of a close one there it was my first time fighting the world five boss and i really didn't come prepared with food or a healer i just kind of wanted to go in and smash it which nobody died which is great uh, so let's see what we get here it's going to cost us 60 resin and already we can see a five star drop but again this is from the weekly boss and we're going to check that out that's going to be a gladiator's goblet which is going to be great and as we move through i do believe that what is this tale of boreas let's see what that is i have no idea what that's a new item for me all right guys so i did find it here the tale of boreas which i hope i'm saying his name right is going to be a character level up material five star rate so i finally got one of these bad boys i hadn't gotten before this that's an entirely new item and then we wanted to go over and look at our new gladiators intoxication we did get attack percent, which is pretty awesome, but looking at the substats, crit damage percent, great. Defense percent, okay, we don't really mind that too much. Uh, flight HP, and without a fourth, you know, automatically coming with a fourth substat, we don't know how good this is going to be. Early, uh, you know, progression for me right now, yes, I'm going to level this bad boy up. It's a five star with attack percent, some crit damage. We'll see how that rolls. If you need help with determining how to roll your, uh, you know, your artifacts, I do have a video. I'll link it in the description below, but now let's move on to the dragon. All right, there we go. We took down the boss. We took down the dragon boss, dude. Feels good, man. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the resin here. We're going to hope for some big drops on the second time we're doing the world boss. Okay, so we have a conductor's top hat. Let's see. We got another of the Devalon Sai, which seems similar. And we got a Gladiator's Triumph. That is two five stars plus. I think it's an item that's going to level up characters. And then I'm not even talking about these four stars we're getting. Because, again, we're, we're searching for the five stars here. But that seems pretty sweet. So now let's go look and see. I do believe it was in this. It was the new item we got. Yes. It's going to be another character level up material. And I'm sure we're going to need these as we level up. So let me go ahead and take a look at my... Uh, my Chong Yun here because he can look like he's ascending here, but he doesn't need one yet. He needs these. Okay, so he does need a character level up material, but he needs Shivata Jade Gemstone, which I'm assuming is just going to be the same as we did before. So um, there must be something maybe when we go from 90 to 100 where we're going to need the item that I'm talking about here because those just look like leveled up versions you get from the Ice Boss, you know what I mean? Where we're going to need these specifically. It's, maybe it goes from 90 to 100. I haven't seen that yet. But then looking over, I do believe, yes, we got two five-star drops on that bad boy. Uh, defense percent on this one here. Uh, Wanderers, uh, let's see, increases elemental mastery by 80%, increases charge attack. I don't really like this set too much. And sadly, I don't think we got the best stat rolls. For like maybe a support unit we're not looking to do damage with, maybe. That one looks good. This is the big one. Healing bonus! No! <laughs> We got healing bonus, and look at this, two flats and a defense percent. Dang it, dude. I've been looking for a gladiator's helmet, uh, the circle, uh, for so long to be good, man. That would complete some of my sets. Hey, listen. Hey, we're farming out good. We're seeing good results. Now we're going to move away from the weekly bosses and move into the elemental bosses. All right, and that's going to be the ice boss down. So, again, I'm only going to do one run of each boss to show what they drop, because obviously I'm not going to get five-star drops every drop. But it looks like we did this time, baby. Oh, my goodness, dude. And I swear I'm not, like, rigging this. I'm just going to get one each boss, and we'll see how it works. All right, let's see what we got there. That's another uh, goblet there. Oops, wrong button, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just over excited to get another drop. And what else did we get there? Wait, hold up. Was that a... 
Okay, okay, that was just a flower for the uh, Wanderers. Okay, I, I was thinking it was something else. So we look at here, attack percent again, but we have elemental mastery, HP percent, and defense percent. So sadly, the sub stats don't match that nice attack stat, but early progression, again, we can't be too picky with our sub stats. You know, maybe you don't max this bad boy out, but you can get to like 12 or 14 or something and see what you end up rolling because we do have that fourth slot open. So that makes us three for three on getting five-star drops. Moving on to the next boss. All right, and here we are at the end of the lightning boss. This is going to be the last of the mini bosses I do, and then we're going to move into a couple of runs in the artifact dungeon so I can show those off. Don't want to waste too much of your time here. Let's see. Okay, we didn't end up getting, uh, sadly, a five-star on this drop, but we did get a four-star, so I do want to check it out. It was a four-star gladiator flower. So let's go see where that one went off to. So there it is. Uh, and really, really bad subset. So this is going to be fodder fuel right there. Uh, but as you can see, you're still getting pretty good drops. You're moving into the four-star gladiator and five-star drops here. And I can't say that I'm disappointed by doing this farm run so far because it's been uh, uh, amazing. Now, it has cost a lot of resin. But now let's move into doing the actual dungeons and the actual domains. And we're going to be going for some of the Nobilis, uh stuff for my Mona. And we'll see how, you know, how lucky we can get with those drops. All right, so we headed over to the Domain of Blessing Stone Chamber 2, and I'm looking that it says recommended party level 80 uh, and Geo needed in your party. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the same party I'm doing, and hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, I've never tried it before, but we're hoping for some Noblesse Oblige, dude. This is going to be a sick set on my Mona, so let's see what we can do. All right, so that actually was kind of easy. It was only three wizards, and since I had, like... Or I don't know if they're called wizards. Whatever they are. They look like wizards where they have the elemental shield. My Chongyun did die, but that's because I was kind of just trying to brute force it. I think if I took my time, it wouldn't have been that bad. And I'm not showing the fights because I don't want to bore you with those. I mean, if you guys let me know in the comments below if you want to see the fights, I can. So here we go. My first chance in a domain at some five-star artifacts. Let's see some orange drop, baby. And uh, there's a lot of drops here. But sadly, no four-star. I mean, no five-star drops. But we did get the royal flora. Let's take a look at that real quick. Because, uh, again, I'm really excited about these drops. Let's see. I think it was this one just dropped. And we have attack percent, elemental mastery, HP percent on a flower. And the cool thing about the flower, like we, if you watch that other video I made, the HP is it's always going to be base stat HP right here, flat HP. These stats are pretty sick. Honestly, they are for my... Um, Mona that I'm trying to put it on if we can roll some uh, some elemental, you know increase in our getting our ultimate up in there That's gonna be great when we roll that what uh, that item up So next we're gonna go ahead and move on and do the same fight again and see if we can get another five-star drop And if not, we'll conclude show our results for the video and see how we did Yeah, dudes, I gotta be honest. This is one of the easiest ones I've done so far and I'm loving it because it's gonna be easy quick farm and I'm gonna be like going for five stars so uh, I'm just finishing off this last little uh, wizard here, and we finished it, and I, I don't know what time we're finishing it in. One minute and 33 seconds, and it's 20 res in a pop? Like, I'm just excited to be farming five stars now, man. This is this is, uh, this is is where the whole game kind of opens up on farming that in-game loot. So here we go, our second attempt at getting a five star from this domain. Let's see what happens here. Level 80 domain. There it is, dude. The Bloodstained Iron Mask, dude. I don't think that obviously is what I'm looking for here. And we got a Scholar's Clock as well. Um... As a five-star, you know what I mean? This is going to be the other set, I think. Yeah, this is going to be the physical damage upset, though. I don't really think we're going to be using this too much. But my lord. Oh, defense for a set. Dude, you know what? I don't know, man. This kind of seems like it'd be sick on a Noel build. You got the defense here, HP, a little bit of defense here, critical damage, critical strength. Like, this was attack or something like that. That would have been amazing. A physical damage upset after uh, after defeating an opponent increases charge attack damage by 50%. You know, maybe, yeah, you start spinning a win with Noel, get that defense on there, get that physical damage up. Might be really good for her. But, guys, that is going to conclude it. We ended up getting, how many five stars did we end up getting? We got one from the Wolf. We got two from the Dragon. That's three. We got one from the Ice Boss. That's four. Four. We didn't get one from the lightning boss. We didn't get one from our first one here. But then we got another one five five stars today during this whole like boss farming kind of way and I am just pumped overjoyed to be able to come in here and start farming we got some upgrades here I'm thinking we're gonna work with nothing too insane we didn't get any super insane drops for what I'm trying to build in my party but I think it was a lot of fun and I hope it was fun for you too to see kind of the loot drops and see what to look forward to when you're farming as well so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below about your farming and if you are enjoying the five star artifacts already or if you got a ways to go subscribe for more Genshin Impact content Content. Follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash and I'll catch you guys in the next video.